Just as there is a group of rebellious humans who awaken and extract other humans from the simulation, there is also a group of programs in charge of doing the opposite, to find a safe way to bring other programs into the Matrix. The Merovingian is the leader of the Exiles, one of the oldest and most dangerous programs in the Matrix universe. But as powerful as he is, his existence does not escape the system of control. Just as the anomaly fell into the preventive measures of the Architect and the Oracle, the Merovingian also fell into the same trappings and ended up working for his enemies without realizing it. Today we're going to be analyzing all the times that the Oracle manipulated and used the Merovingian. Welcome to Matrix Explained. The desert of the real. To understand the extent of the Oracle's manipulation over the Merovingian, we must start at the beginning. The first Beta Matrix was a paradise, in every sense of the word, a place created to maximize the psychological well-being of humanity. In this Matrix, there were no agents, but guardian angels. Seraph was one of these guardians. The first Matrix I designed was quite naturally perfect. It was a work of art. Flawless, sublime, a triumph equaled only by its monumental failure. The inevitability of its doom is apparent to me now as a consequence of the imperfection inherent in every human being. It is believed that the Merovingian was an operating system that eventually began to make calculated decisions for itself and help other programs escape the first simulation. It is also believed that it was in the Paradise Matrix that the Merovingian became obsolete. Older programs are meant to be replaced by newer ones, and the ones that become obsolete must return to the source. Maybe a better program is created to replace that happens all the time. And when it does, a program can either choose to hide here or return to the source. But the Merovingian rejected this outcome. He became a program without a purpose and began to build an army. His wife Persephone once said, that there was a time when the Merovingian resembled Neo. A long time ago, when we first came here, it was so different. He was so different. He was like you. The Merovingian once loved Persephone the same way Neo loved Trinity, but he was also like Neo because he had a purpose within the Matrix. That purpose disappeared once he was going to be replaced by a better program. This is where the Oracle's manipulation begins. The Merovingian did not lose his purpose, but was assigned a new one, to adapt and reuse older programs in the next version of the simulation, starting with Seraph. Based on how the Merovingian does his operations, we can assume that he kept Seraph inside an alternate construct, in Mobile Lab or one similar, while the new simulation was being created. This is how Seraph survived, and why he is called the Prodigal Son and Wingless. The Prodigal Child returns, l'ange sans ses ailes. Are you here for the bounty, Seraph? <laughs> Holy shit, it's Wingless. Seraph was part of the Merovingian's ranks at the beginning of the Nightmare Matrix, but something changed, and Seraph switched sides and joined the Oracle, becoming her bodyguard. And since you, my little Judas, have brought them here, I can only surmise that the fortune teller has found herself another shell. We don't know why Seraph switched sides, but we assume that it happened after the first anomaly manifested and the Oracle decided to live inside the simulation, making her vulnerable and in need of a protector. This is probably when the rivalry between the Oracle and the Merovingian began. She took something from him, his most powerful soldier, and the Frenchman doesn't like it when things are taken from him. I do hope, however, she has the good manners to learn her lesson and to remember that there is no action without consequence. And if you take something from me, you will pay the price. Rumors of the Oracle's eyes began to spread across the Matrix. Many programs want the ability to see into the future, including the Merovingian. And it so happens there is something I want. Something I have wanted ever since I first came here. What? 
the eyes of the Oracle. We speculate that the rumors about the Oracle's eyes were created and spread by the Oracle herself so that Smith would assimilate her. But it also drew the Merovingian's selfish desire to destroy her and take her powers for his own. In Matrix Reloaded, the Oracle warned Neo about the Merovingian. He's being held prisoner by a very dangerous program. One of the oldest of us, he is called the Merovingian. The Merovingian's reason to have the Keymaker as a prisoner is simple. He wants more power, and the Keymaker can create keys for anything and to go anywhere in the simulation. A major advantage for the Frenchman. We also believe that the Keymaker has been forced to work for the Merovingian since the Matrix before Neo's. Not long after the Keymaker was rescued by Neo and the others, does he die at the hands of Agent Smith. So in actuality, he was much safer with the Merovingian than Neo. Sure, the Frenchman took advantage of the Keymaker's powers, but he also served as his protector. The Oracle had to have known that the program was safer with the Merovingian, though she never told or warned Neo of the Keymaker's eventual death. This is the second time that the Oracle took something from the Merovingian, but it doesn't end here. As the Oracle planned to send Neo to get the Keymaker, she also planned for the safe transportation of a special program into the Matrix, Sati. She knew that the only way for Sati to enter the Matrix was through Mobile Ave and the Merovingian, which is why she made the Frenchman believe that he could destroy her shell. It wouldn't take much to convince the Merovingian of the existence of a kill call to the Oracle shell because he was already blinded by hatred towards the intuitive program and his desire for her eyes. But whatever reason he had for wanting to make a deal to destroy the Oracle, in the end, he failed. The Oracle wasn't destroyed as he had hoped. She simply changed bodies and Sati was moved safely to the Matrix. The Oracle used and manipulated the Merovingian's emotions in her favor to get what she wanted. It makes us wonder if this is the reason why the Architect allows the Frenchman to continue on existing. The Merovingian, just like the Red Pills, plays a part in the machine's system of control. They are all tricked into believing that they have power and freedom without ever realizing that they are being controlled and used. The Architect and the Oracle's control goes far beyond psychologically manipulating the humans. They affect the machines as well. This is not a favorable position for the Merovingian and he might have realized the manipulation after the Oracle allowed herself to be assimilated by Smith. How can the program that can see the future get caught by the evil virus? It doesn't make sense. And this could be the reason why the Merovingian will become a bigger threat in the future as he is returning in Matrix 4. It's because he now knows of the manipulation. The Merovingian is the Neo of the programs, a program born in the Matrix that has been manipulated and fights to escape the control of the machines. Maybe Persephone was right. Maybe the two have more in common than we thought. But do you agree? Was the Merovingian manipulated by the Oracle, or is she simply too smart and knows how to take advantage of everyone's resources? For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.